You know what they really are doing, though? It, when, when I see that it's led by billionaires, right. it's just a return to feudalism. That's right. It's exactly what it is. They, they want you to be a Russian serf. They right. want you to go back to being a serf. They want you to go back to living in your hut that you don't even own because your liege lord owns it. Your liege lord, a.k.a. your landlord now, but it's going to be government because it's all be government owned. We have the number one right now as we sit, we have the highest credit card debt in U.S. history. Over a trillion dollars is currently held by Americans. Why? Because they're buying everything on credit. You're buying groceries on credit now. They got, they're they're got You got people out there paying, uh, paying their mortgages, paying their rent on credit. They're putting it all on credit because they're so squeezed because the dollar ain't, you know what, mm -hmm. as, as Oliver Anthony tells us, uh, you're dying crap. And Don't you love him? And you are putting all of it on the backs of the American people and you set up the millennials slavery. too. You put up the millennials and Gen Z into debt slavery. Yeah, you they're put just them into slaves. debt slavery because now they've got you to the point where you can't own anything. They and you'll love it. And they don't even want you to. Right, right, right. You'll 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 own nothing and you'll be happy because But you won't be happy. This is sort of <laughs> not truly happy. You'll be distracted. That's what will actually happen. You'll be distracted. You'll be distracted you'll by You'll get a lot of porn. By right. So you'll you'll get into it's it's mass consumption. So it's mass consumption. You you will be obsessed with consumption of whatever that is. So you'll be obsessed with consuming. If if it's entertainment, you're obsessed with consuming entertainment. If if it, if it's pornography, you're obsessed with with pornography. If if it's um wh whatever it is, whatever it is, you become obsessed with that because you're no longer self actualized because you you've made it okay. You've become okay. You've been pacified to being okay with being mediocre, mm -hmm. with with being with being normal, being an NPC. Um, and you are, and you're now just, you're no just, soul expression. You're no soul. You're, it's spirit death. And to, so we didn't finish the fourth training. So the fourth training is the oh, idea yeah. that, that this, this passes through cycles. And so the last four in, and typically we see this in 80 year cycles. And so the last fourth turning would have been world war two because it remade the world. Yeah. And, and right before the world, world war two was the great depression. Right. So what did we just have here? The global financial crisis so we had a financial crisis that affected the entire globe the last time that happened there was a world war mm -hmm. now we had a global financial crisis and we're moving into the crisis phase so the crisis so the so the four the four turnings are there's a a a building phase there is a there is a success phase where everything is flourishing everything is incredible like the 50s then you have an unraveling and then mm -hmm. you have an unraveling where it goes too far and stuff just doesn't seem to work the way it did. And mm -hmm. then you have your crisis. And that's the fourth turning. That's the fourth turning phase. And that is the phase that this theory predicts we're in right now. Feels oh, like yeah, it. because look at China has missiles in Cuba. China putting bases in Cuba. I um, mean, Americans are like... Wait. China putting bases in the Atlantic. And, and Americans... And where and Americans, they don't care because Americans are focused. What I just said, Americans have been pacified, they've been emasculated, they've been feminized. Especially the men have been completely feminized. And by the way, this is this is Nietzschean. Do you have the? I can look it up because we talked about this before. So this it's is Uber mentioned. What was the other one? So this was the well, you know the last man, the last man. No. Um, and so Nietzsche. So everybody knows Nietzsche's theory. All the men of, are girls. This is, everyone knows Nietzsche's theory of the overman, right? The, mm -hmm. the great man, great man theory that there's always going to be this sort of swath of population that comes in, and they are the innovators, the geniuses, the the risk takers too. It's not just not mm -hmm. just IQ, but not just intellect, but it's the people who are willing to to build great things and do great things. But then there's the theory. But but what's the opposite of that? What is the opposite of the overman? The lemmings. It's it's yes the lesser man yes it, it's not just lesser it's it's the last man so the last man is the man who is do you have the, the actual quote here? i believe so i mean i just went to wikipedia um every, i like nietzsche a lot i just hate that the nazis listen, like him. listen to this listen to this every everything around i, I don't think you can blame not the nazis only on nietzsche though i think i think people try to do that to, to discount nietzsche a lot i love nietzsche but though, i think but i think i, I think there's far more to nietzsche and i, I think there's far it's more to exactly. the the national socialist workers party of germany than than just nietzsche yeah that so here 
Everything around them decays and produces decay. Yes. Nothing will endure until the day after tomorrow except one species of man, the incurably mediocre. No kidding. The mediocre alone have the prospect of continuing and propagating themselves, the men of the future, um, the sole survivors, the last man. Where is it? It's, it is it is the, the you, triumph you're, you're, of the mediocre. The triumph of the mediocre. Here it is. You become you become thinner. You become good natured, prudent, comfortable, mediocre, more indifferent. You you are you are obsessed with safety. You are obsessed with stability. You are obsessed mm-hmm. with harmony. You can't handle you're a Democrat, co- conflict. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ha- you you must go along and. And what has primacy in life? What is primacy in? And, and so you you cannot you are not spiritual. It's the obliteration of genius. It's, it's the obliteration of genius and the demonization of genius. Yeah. And it is the the and and what 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 subsumes all of that is the primacy of the state. Yes. The state the state is overall mm-hmm. and then and the loss of any self actualization right. individual spirit is snuffed no out. No growth. It is completely snuffed out. No responsibility, no growth, no transcendence. And Nietzsche wrote that in 1883. Yeah. And it wasn't and and, and this is what people don't understand is that he was not arguing for it. He was predicting it. Right. He was predicting that this is the man that our current trajectory of our society, as we move away from God, yes, and this is what, when he said God is dead, that's what he was explaining. He was not yeah. saying God should be dead. He was saying God is dead. We killed him. God is dead, it's and we killed him. So true. And he was saying we're mo- we've moved away from God. So what will happen? So what will happen is that you will, all of this will come to pass. It's pretty similar to the mice, too, isn't it? It's very similar to the mice. So, I mean, you have an it's example so in real time. It's so about God, and I'm hoping that there'll be a revival, that it will be... Uh, Can you get closer to the mic? I know oh, you're yeah. tired, sorry. I'm just hoping that there will be a revival, because I think that that's our only hope in America, is that there will be a revival. Uh, you know, I call it just going over to the wall and plugging in, you know, plugging into that... Well, we have to. Because we, we you look at you look at society today, uh, especially with Zoomers, it's they're they're coming into the world, they're coming online, um, and they have everything. They have they have access to everything at their fingertips. They have yeah. everything, but they have nothing. Right. Because yeah. there's no meaning. Right. Because there's no meaning. So it's it's watch the next video. Just watch the next video, and there's no meeting. There's no structure. There's no one to tell you which information. You have all the information, but no one to tell you what's important. I say that every week. We're, no one, no we have more you, information now, but we're we're less interested. What's in the dumber. what's the what's important in my life what how to prioritize this what is what are maslow's hierarchy of needs what are what's what is morality what should my morality be and this is moral this is where moral relativism comes in this is where inner you know, we didn't talk about wokeness or any of these things but wokeness is an attempt to create a new religion in order to give someone people something to believe in and to fight for mm-hmm. to wow. fill this spiritual gap that's all wokeness is that, um, um and that's... and communism which is a form of which wokeism work is wokeism is a form of communism yeah. as the great uh, the great Twitter account Mystery Grove uh, publishing company once wrote is that communism is the is the uh, is the system whereby in uh, ugly disgusting feral people <laughs> m- make it make it illegal to be normal and beautiful and successful and then and then also make it legal to imprison and kill you for it and the ideology is all window dressing. I heard this thing about God, and I want to say it. Uh, God is the will of the people united. The people united. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I I really like that because I think that it is transcendental, transcendent. I don't like the word transcendental, but transcendent. And I think maybe we're on the cusp of it. And I feel like uh, that's what we need. We need to experience something new about God.